All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at the card that's supposedly the new Brio. You, as you guys know, if you guys don't know who Brionic is, I mean, come on, man. Brionic is a ridiculous generic sync six who just says, you know, not even once per turn, just as many times as you want, go ahead and discard a card, bounce a card in. It, not only, this is before uh, Mermaid Atlantis, before you're wondering, like, oh, shit, they would get all their effects. Yes, they would, but, you know, that card got banned before uh, Mermaid Atlantis was their prime. Probably the reason why that card got banned, but it was already just causing chaos before. We need plenty, plenty of uh, OTK, FTK, just summon Brio, bounce everything back, spam summon, and just whoop your ass. It's just like, uh, you know, you know how powerful Capulsa is? Just think, you know, Capulsa for everything, the cards, everything, back row, go back to your hand, monsters, go back, you know, just by discarding. As many times you want, not once per turn. So, uh, people are saying, like, this is the replacement for Brownick. So, uh, you know, some people are like, you know, Brownick would just need a Simperado, just say once per turn, and that'd be that, but... Uh, you know, it, sometimes we do kind of have, like, those, uh, misnomer cards that are kind of, like, similar, but not exactly the same, so I guess this is supposed to be, like, the Brio replacement. This is Coral Dragon, yes. And you're kind of looking at their card art, and you kind of, that looks familiar, it really does. I, I think it might be related to the Tasunoko, like, maybe older? They've been doing that a lot lately, just, you know, older versions of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is, I guess, this is a full-grown seahorse dragon thingy that Tasunoko was. Uh, water dragon this time, so not a, not a little worm anymore. This is a full blown dragon. Uh, dragon synchro tuner, synchro tuner. All right, level tuner. Uh, synchro tuner is not bad, not bad. Effect level six, 2400 attack, 500 defense. 2400 for a level six synchro, that's fine. That's it, really is. A generic one tuner plus one or more non tuner monsters. Uh, effect reads once per turn, once per ah, ah, this ring is just ah, like just Brio. That's all you had to have, just once per turn. Once per turn, you could just card one card. Ah, you're just carding one card. All right, but what do you do? Then target one card your opponent controls. Destroy it. All right, so Brio, just discard one card, bounce something. This is once per turn, so in exchange of not being able to do as many times, instead of just bouncing it back and, you know, going neg, you get to go ahead and pop. You go ahead, discard, target card your opponent controls, and pop it. And it is a water monster, so... Uh, yeah, with your Lantian, Mermel, Neptibus, Spam deck, if you can bust out this level 6 synchro, he will go ahead and get you your Lantian effect when you pitch, because he is a water monster, so there you go, so, uh, they never really got the enjoyment of Brio being able to break the hell of Brio, but of course, just before Neptibus, now, they got the Neptibus, and they got the Carl Dragon, so, have fun with that, I mean, I, I, just, I know you guys can bust out some 6 sync, so, yeah, more power to you. Anyway, uh, that's not the only effect. Unlike Brio, who's just like, hey, you know, you discard, I'll bounce as many times as you got discards. Unlike that, unlike Brio, this card actually has another effect. If the Synchro Summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can go ahead and draw one card. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you can only use this effect of Coral Dragon once per turn. That way you're not summoning him and then sending him and then drawing and summoning him and sending him and drawing. So, uh... That's pretty good. So as long as he's not using the Xim material, because once you're using Xim material, you, you, you're nothing. I don't know. Xim material is weird. You're nothing. But whether you are destroyed by battle, destroyed by card effect, even used, you know, he is a Synchro Tuner, so used for an additional Synchro, you get to go ahead and draw a card. So uh, it's not an immediate, it's not an immediate payoff, like, you know, like Formula Synchro and being Synchro Tuner. is like, hey, summon me and I'll immediately let you draw a card. This guy is kind of later. He's like, hey, I'm a little bit stronger. I'm a different level. I got my own kind of standalone effect. I can, I can, I can kind of beef by myself. But hey, if you go ahead and use me for a Synchro, then I'm going to draw you a card. I'm going to pay you back. So, Overall, I really like this card. I think it's pretty cool. It is. It's, it, and I'm not just saying that because it's like a water dragon, Brio, and all that. No, no, no. Uh, this card, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's an absolute replacement for Brio because the Brio shenanigans, I mean, bouncing as many times as you want is not even close to just popping once per turn. But, you know, still, getting that water monster discard, that's nice. Uh, when it's sent from the field to the, you know, just this is a summon card is sent to a graveyard, period. Uh, you get to go ahead and draw a card. That's pretty good as well. So generally, when you synchro summon, you take a neg. So this card's like, hey, I'll pay you back. I'm gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you a, a going away present. And then probably one of the coolest things of all, it's a dragon. It's a dr level six dragon synchro. So you're probably wondering like, what's so special about that? Um, there's a little monster that you know is limited to one here in the OCG. He's been limited to one for a cool minute, but he works pretty well. Uh, he can't be. He can't go into like uh, the synchro with a level four monster, but he has to go into a synchro with a dragon monster. Hmm. Ah, yeah, debris dragon. You can go ahead and go debris dragon. Summon a you know a level two 
non-tuner monster that has, what, what, a 500 attack or less? Summon that from the graveyard, bam, go right into this with just debris dragon. Like, that's pretty good. Because they just, when they, specifically, it is a dragon. You know, you think, like, being related to Tasunoko, it might be like a worm, but nope, this is a dragon, and therefore, debris dragon, there you go. There's no restrictions on uh, synchroing with a level 2 monster, so there you go. Level 2 non-tuner with debris dragon equals this. Go ahead and discard a card, pop. That's an even out with you and your opponent, and of course, you can go ahead and have your lantern shenanigans if you do it in that deck. And the synchro uh, summon card is integrated right, pay you back for your neg on the synchro summon. I, I, I think this is a fairly good card, I really like it. So, um, like I said, I wouldn't say it's the replacement of Brio, I mean, it, it's, it's a lot, you know, it really depends on how you look at it, how you want to uh, equate Brio. Just spam bouncing, is that how you equate Brio? Multiple uh, Atlantean effects, is that how you equate Brio? Like, wh where do you put Brio? But uh, definitely the whole first thing, the once per turn, is pretty nice too. Now, of course, it doesn't say you can only use this, this effect, you know, it just uh, the draw effect. So if you bust out multiple Coral Dragons, you can go ahead and discard and pop as many cards as, as you have Coral Dragons. So you have three Coral Dragons, you can go effect, pitch, pop, Coral Dragon, effect, pitch, pop. Coral Dragon effect, pitch, pop, but let's say you have three Coral Dragons and then your opponent goes Rogaki and, you, and you're like, oh well, Coral Dragon effect, draw a card. You don't get to go Coral Dragon effect, draw a card, Coral Dragon effect, draw a card. No, you only get to use this effect, uh, the Sun Core Summon card is into a to draw a card. You only use that effect once per turn. So, hey, hey, more power to you, but it's nice that we're getting some good Sync 6, you know? It used to be just Goyo Guardian or Bust, and before Goyo Guardian, I mean, I don't think really anybody touched the Sync 6, like, what was the Sync 6 before Goyo Guardian was unbanned and Brio was banned, Goyo was banned? Like, what was before that? Like, I don't know, I can't remember what was before that. Like, Goyo's just been here for so long. It's just, you know, 28 beater, Goyo Guardian, let's go, you know? But we have so many more now, and it's, just, it's actually pretty cool that we're getting some good Sync 6, so you just don't have to lean on Goyo. I mean, you got the Stardust Charge, you got Coral Dragon, so you, you got some versatility when it comes to Sync 6s, so. Have fun. I mean, like I said, I'm I'm probably just right on the tip of my tongue. The other one, maybe like Iron Chain or something, or C7. I don't remember, but there was there was a Sync Six that you went into before Gladio got unbanned. I just, for the love of God, can't remember it. Just because, I mean, come on, come on. It was Gladio Guardian, 28 Peter for a freaking Sync Six. That's a little strong, don't you think? Running over them, Stardust is taking them. Like, oh my God. All right. Anyway, I am done with this card review. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about Coil. Coil, coil, coral, dragon in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back next week. We'll look at some more cards. We got so many cards to look at. Like, oh my god, it just seems like every single time, every week, I review like two new cards that just pump out like four and more. It's just, you know, I like that. I like that we have the surplus because, you know, like I said, a couple weeks ago, I was kind of scraping the barrel. But as long as we got new cards keep on coming out, then I can keep on reviewing, you know, new and shiny cards. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Channel is slowly growing, slowly growing. You know, we got some things, uh, big things coming. You know, in the mid to end of the year of 2016. But for now, we're just kind of just chilling. Uh, you know, you guys may think that the channel is kind of linear, and you know, he does the same thing every week. But yeah, I mean, it's it's consistent content. You know, like there's not uh, probably not a lot of Yugi tubing channels where you can go and you can be like, all right. At this time, at this era, I guarantee that I got a video unless I fucked up or I'm late or something, you know. I'm not perfect, but, you know, I try my damn best. I try really hard on this channel, and I thank you guys for all the support. You know, it definitely shows that my effort is not in vain. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys next week with some more card review.